Thinking Closet, here to welcome you back to Scarf Week! Now while the rest of the world is being terrified by Shark Week, we're going to inspire you with Scarf Week. I have for you today Scarf Tutorial Numero Dos. Today we'll be diving back into the realm of infinity t-shirt scarves, but instead of a tie-dye look, we're going to create a t-shirt yarn look. Hold up, Lauren. What is t-shirt yarn? I'm so glad you asked. This is t-shirt yarn. Woot woot. Before I show you how to create it, I just need to brag for a moment. This here infinity t-shirt scarf only took me 15 minutes and I can prove it. Let me give you a little bit of a closer look. Ooh, ah. Are you impressed? Great. Well, I hope you stick around because I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own no-sew t-shirt yarn infinity scarf. Let's do this. Okay, let's talk supplies. All you need for this project are masking tape or painter's tape, fabric scissors or a rotary cutter, a t-shirt, ideally if it's made of 100% cotton or jersey, this is going to work the best. And it's ideal if it's just plain or patterned beneath the armpits. Lastly, a glue gun. That's it. Okay, let's get started with step one. Okay, first thing you're going to do is line up your bottom hem, shake it out so that it's nice and smooth. And then you're going to cut the imaginary line that's right under the armpits. So I'm just going to follow one of these navy blue lines that happens to be on my shirt, just so that I can be as accurate as possible, though it's really okay if it's not perfect. You will see why. Okay. Now, don't throw this out just yet. You are going to use this a little bit later, so just set it aside. Now, next up, we need to cut off this bottom hem where you see stitching. So again, make sure it's lined up and just cut that right off. Okay. This, you don't need. You can throw it out. Now you're going to tape across one of your edges just to sort of give you a guideline of where not to cut. Mine's just about an inch in. Okay, now's the fun part. We're gonna create our loops made of t-shirt yarn. And the way to do that is just to simply cut one inch strips all the way up this side, stopping at our tape line. So don't cut past that. Um, but you'll see, mine are just about one inch wide. I wouldn't go any smaller than one inch. You're gonna find that your loops are just too thin and could easily rip. But one inch or bigger, and uh, you can play around with that, that size. Just go all the way across creating those strips, and then I'll show you how to turn them into t-shirt yarn. Okay, and there you have it. Woohoo! It's like a really fun Hawaiian grass skirt. Okay, so now that we've completed our loops, now to create them into, quote, yarn. This is where you get to get out a little bit of your aggression, not too much, so we don't rip anything. But you're going to simply reach into the loop and pull. Pull from side to side, and you will quickly see this turn into yarn of the t-shirt variety. It reminds me of that toy, Stretch Armstrong, 80s reference. You might want to give an extra little tug up at the top and at the bottom, and then keep on tugging. And we're done. Beautiful. Now you'll notice I have a little taggy here. 
just going to give that a trim. Also, I thought this shirt had no side seam, but it does. So I'm just going to be careful not to cut off any of the uh, stitching. But here, if you have a side seam and it's kind of bulky, I'm just going to sort of trim in a little bit on the sides just so that's less conspicuous. Another thing you can do to help ensure that your loops are semi-evenly stretched is to kind of grab them all in one big loop and pull them that way. That way the ones that are a little bit less stretched will meet and match the others. Now's the time when you can remove the tape at the top and we're going to prepare to sort of finish off this edge. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking the top of the t-shirt and I'm going to cut three half strips of the same width as before. So I'm just doing like the double stripe, one inch and um, in a moment we're going to braid these together. So go ahead and cut those three strips. Okay, now that I have my three strips, I'm going to do the same as I did with my loops and I'm going to create little t-shirt yarn strips. And we'll tie them together at one end. And you don't need to tie this too tight because we are going to untie it. And then just go ahead and braid it. complete the final step of our no sew t-shirt yarn infinity scarf. Now I find what works best here is to place the top of where we had that tape section, place it over your arm so that way you're sure that it's sort of evenly split down the middle with the loops. And then just go ahead and sort of accordion bunch the top to create one gathered section. Now I do a test run before I glue anything. Go ahead and take your braid, the knot that you tied loosely, and that's going to start you off on one end. And then you're just going to loop it around and around and around until you cover that whole little middle section that is not cut. That looks pretty good. Now in order to um, get rid of these ends, I'm, we're going to actually glue them under. You can actually go ahead and unwind everything except for that first looped section. This is honestly probably the trickiest part in the whole tutorial and it's not that hard. I just untied that section of the braid that was not tied too tightly and while the momentum of the braid is up and down, I'm actually going to glue to the side the loose ends and that will end up getting covered by the braid. So you see I've just sort of wrapped it around one time, preparing it to go a second time, but before I do I'm going to take my hot glue gun and glue that down. begin the rest of my loop. So now that I've wrapped it around six times, each one will be different, my last scarf was only four, um, six times I'm going to just put a little dab of hot glue here underneath my uh, tight knot and then we're going to tuck these three loose ends underneath with scissors after trimming them. but I am digging this look. I think it's going to be my new go-to move. You know, and it's funny, this one almost could pass off as a necklace, a scarf necklace. 
scarfless or a narf? <laughs> Question mark? Well, I ponder that. I hope that you go off and create your own no sew t shirt yarn infinity scarf in 15 minutes. You can so do it. Feel free to play around with that little braided section. Maybe you want to put a brooch there instead. Right now, I have it tucked behind. You could show it off. It is up to you. Bottom line is have fun and make it your own. Well, this has been another really fun scarf tutorial. I could get used to 15 minute projects. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you stick around because we have plenty more scarf tutorials to come. The links down below will guide you to them all. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you can stay in the loop on all things Thinking Closet. Because there's a whole lot more to come from that closet. Catch you later for another installment of Scarf Week. that.